One year and $1.75 million later, the Rigby South Park Revitalization Project is finished. Local News 8's Chris Nesman is live in Rigby. Chris, how are city leaders reacting to this new project? Jay, as you can imagine, they are pretty excited about it. And they're looking forward to the fact that it will really help this place out, especially as it's very busy on the weekends. We had 26 weekends here. We had events, I think, in 23 of those. Um, well, actually, there were supposed to be 24, one canceled. So we stay very busy. A busy venue is just one reason why local leaders wanted to improve the area in and around Rigby South Park, particularly the heavily used parking lot. Then this was all gravel and rocky, and the road through here, it would be uh, dusty and dirty in the summer, and muddy and bumpy in the winter time. And now it's all paved and nice. And besides going from rutted and rocky to paved and painted, other improvements made include improved seating in the Rigby Rodeo grounds. Fresh cement under the baseball diamond bleachers and new sidewalks and curbing for parts of nearby State Street. It's really an iterative process with the city and urban renewal to lay out a concept of, of what this facility might look like. And Other groups that helped in the project include the Rigby Rodeo Board, Jefferson County, local businesses, the Transportation Department, and even several Eagle Scout projects. Now, the city leaders say they hope that with these revitalizations and projects, there will be a nicer place to live and recreate and in turn attract more businesses. Reporting live in Rigby, I'm Chris Nestman. That looks very nice there. Thanks, Chris. Of the $1.75 million that went into the project, about $350,000 of it came from a state grant.